All right, let's cut through all the marketing bull crap. We're going to get right to the point with the Fantic T1 Max soldering iron. Uh, hopefully going to answer all your questions on this soldering iron. Is it worth it and do I want it? <laughs> it is a true cordless soldering iron. So as you can see there, USB-C, if my camera can focus, there it is, USB-C rechargeable. It will operate with it being plugged in. It uh, has six different temperature settings, 840, and you can just twist it down to the 390. What's really cool and probably my favorite part about this is that that 390 degree, the lowest temperature, this thing will heat up to that in about seven seconds. Uh, I timed it all the way up to the 840. It took 28 seconds to get full hot without being plugged in on a fresh charge. So it has a nice grip right here, like a nice little pen grip. So that makes it really comfortable, easy to use. And the way that you change out your tips on it is you just unscrew this little head right here. And this thing will not turn on and start heating up if there's not a tip in it and the tip is firmly seated. So you put your tip, it does come with four different styles. I'll show you the other ones here in a second but you put, push that straight in and make sure it's all the way down. And then you reinsert this and screw that down and that's gonna lock the tip in place. And now you can begin soldering. So you're just gonna hold down this button here until it comes on. It does have a light too, which is another thing I love. You can see, look at that. It's already smoking, you guys. I don't know if you can see that, but it's literally already putting off smoke. Um, that's how fast this thing heats up. And it, like I said, it's got a light so you can see your workspace uh, down in, in those tight confines, right? So it blinks red while it's warming up and this thing goes green once it's hot. So it is currently set to the 840 degree. That's maximum temperature. And that's how long it took to get hot from when I turned it on. You can rewind the video, watch it back. It is super fast. When you're done, you just hold it down and it will turn off. And it comes with an awesome little stand, a little articulating stand. Uh, the only thing you have to do is just clip, when you get it out of the box, you just clip this part into the base and you're good to go. So that can now reside right there in the base. It does come with a bunch of sponges that you can get damp so you can clean off your tip. And then all your extra tips are literally stored in the base. So these are the other three tips you get. So you kind of get two of these blade tips you get kind of a curved fine point and then just a straight fine point. And again, that just clips in to the base, locks in. So that's what you get there. It also, like I said, comes with uh, a bunch of extra sponges and it does come with a desoldering pump and extra tips. So if you don't know what a desoldering pump is, basically when you heat up soldering and you want to remove it from say a circuit board, you just put this down by the solder, push the button here on top, and it literally sucks the hot solder right out of it. And then you can eject it later. Uh, really nice to have when you want to clean up the circuit board if you want to redo uh, a nice solder. It also comes with some nice tweezers to hold on to fine uh, wires or fine components that you want to solder. And it comes with your charging cable. So this is by far my favorite soldering iron I've ever used. I just threw away one that had a big long cord coming off the back. I didn't even have a stand for it, but the thing that sucked is every time I'd want to set it down, it would slide, it would turn and move. So having a nice stand, no cords to get in the way to hit bump your hand or your arm or to hit the thing you're soldering, absolute game changer. I did see in some reviews that people were saying that it gets cold to the touch. I have not personally experienced that. So I'd say Fantic has a great warranty. If you are having any issues with your soldering iron, contact Fantic, they will make it right. But uh, if you are looking for a great and cordless soldering iron with six different heat settings for really fine you know, soldering and general soldering, I highly recommend this. Definitely buy with confidence.